Hello everyone, hello. How is everyone? Okay, so I've gotten a lot of comments and messages and even friends telling me, um, now you're in New York and you don't do as many shows? Where's the show? Where's the show? And I went back and I was like, you know what? I actually did do four shows last week. I only missed one. Um, but I really appreciate the demand. I mean, leave them wanting more, right? Leave them wanting more. And I figure while I'm in New York, I am so busy just trying to do everything I can while I'm here, you know? Um, but also, you know, it's it's a different setup here, and it's also like, I want to give you quality, not just quantity, you know what I mean? I don't want to just do a show every day, because there's so much stuff here that I can actually do better shows if I leave here. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? If I, like, leave. So, I promise you at least three a week, they'll probably be five, but if, if, if we miss a day here and there, just... Bear with me, and we'll uh, we'll you know I'll, I'll make them up to you. What I what I uh, what I what I what I don't do in uh, regularity, I'll do in uh, creativity. I right? got it approved. Stamp it. Um, okay, so I'm having so much fun. I like I just am having so much fun. But I gotta tell you, I'm getting a little exhausted because it's go 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 go. So I was like helping Marissa. And then, and then doing, you know, other stuff. I went and saw Gypsy on Friday. Went and saw Miss Patty in Gypsy. Um, I went with my friend Serena, who had never seen it. And um, it was, of course, my second time seeing it. And it was so fun because she... Because the last time I saw it was, like, a week before the Tonys. Like, right before Tony voters were putting in their ballots. And I was with Marissa, of course. And, like... Um, so it was really like her A-game. Now, of course, this Friday, it was still Miss Patty's A-game, but a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like, I like that it's a little bit different, and she might have been a little bit tired, but it was still like, fine, Rose is a little bit tired. She's still pissed. She's still pissed. Um, and frick that Rose's turn. Whoa. I mean, it's just amazing. It's really amazing. It's worth the price of admission to just see Rose's turn. Everything else is bonus material. Rose's turn is worth $5,000, however much tickets are now. Um, I, just amazing, amazing. After this, today, I'm heading over to Gypsy of the Year at the New Amsterdam. For those who don't know what Gypsy of the Year is, it's an annual celebration and of um, the the big Broadway Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS push that each show does. They do a big fundraiser with um, buckets and stuff after the show and baskets. Um, and each show tries to raise as much money as possible and it celebrates the winning shows and every show does sort of a, um, a something that they, to represent their show each year at Gypsy of the Year. Something creative and fun in Broadway. Um, and so uh, the cast of Hairspray is doing... Um, oh, am I not allowed to say... Is it out there what they're doing? Maybe I can't say. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's secret stuff. It's cool, though. And there will be a lot of people who have been in Hairspray in the past there. So I'm going over there, and I'm excited. There's a bunch of people over there that I'm going to see that um, I haven't seen for a long time. So I'm really excited about that. And to all of you who I've seen like on the streets and at shows and at the theater and stuff like that, like... Um, those of you who are stopping and saying you watch my show and stuff, it's so much fun. Like, and you're all so sweet and like, just like, I, I really kind of feel like I know you guys. So it's just really like, I don't know. It's great. So keep saying hi and I love you all. Also, okay, so then tonight, okay, so then tonight after Gypsy of the Year, I'm going to come back here for a little bit and hang out, and then I'm going um, with my friend Craig, we're going to go to Musical Mondays at Splash, which I'm really excited about. I've never been. It's something that happened after I left here, and for some reason, every trip I'm here, I never get a chance to go. Um, so Musical Mondays at Splash is this night at Splash, which is a bar um, down in Chelsea, that they do on Monday nights, instead of playing like you know, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. They play all show tunes and videos from musicals and like Tony performances and like, and then they have special guests and like Broadway singers and stuff. So it's really fun. So I'm going to go there tonight and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be having a very big Broadway musical day. And then tomorrow, Marissa opens. There's more Gypsy of the Year tomorrow. So I think we're going to go again tomorrow. And then 
Um, tomorrow night's Marissa's opening night. It's crazy. It's so exciting. She's so ready to go. I'm so excited for you guys to see. I think she's going to um, stop by the show tomorrow. I think we're going to do a little thing on the show tomorrow. Um, no promises because her schedule is a little hectic. But um, I think she's going to. Anyways, so I got to go because I'm going over to Gypsy of the Year. And I'm going to go hang out and see everybody over there. I'll take my flip, see what I can get for you guys. Who knows? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's harder to get stuff here, even though I know everybody, than it is to like walk into a press event in LA where I know nobody. It's, it's weird. Um, so I will do the best I can and I love you. Oh, wait, one more thing. Did you watch Britney's documentary? I know I'm like really late. I know I'm really behind on this and everybody's already talked about it, but like that really upset me. I could not sleep after I watched it. I could not fall asleep. And then I could not like shake it. Like it gave me a lot of anxiety. I don't think I should watch things like that anymore. I think that it upsets me so much. And I really worry about her. But sometimes I get very angry at her, too. But don't you think Don't you think she was just, like, a little... Like, I'm a little worried that she's a little... Shut up. Like, now she's, like, the opposite. She's gone from, like, rah, 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 umbrella out of the car to, like, mm, it's okay, Brittany. Everything's gonna be okay. It is what it is. This is my life. It's like a little bit Michael Jackson, and it makes me nervous. I, we've got to find a happy medium. I don't know if that's like medication. I don't know what. I don't know what they need to do to kind of like, you know, reel her in a little bit. Well, reel her out maybe a little bit. Like, I feel like they need to let her go just a little bit crazier. Does that make sense? <laughs>